Ever since the crash of FTX, we have lost one of the cheapest and easiest ways to on-rank crypto in Singapore. Other methods are still available, such as sending USD to Crypto.com and receiving USDC. However, the fees for these methods can be very expensive, where Crypto.com charges 25 USD for every withdrawal to your bank account. I believe that this is one of the cheapest ways to on-ramp in Singapore by converting your SING dollar into XSGD on the Polygon network and then using a decentralized exchange to buy almost any cryptocurrency. XSGD is a stablecoin that's packed to the SING dollar and is issued by Straits X. They are one of the departments under FAST, which is formerly known as XFIRST, and the entire company is licensed by MAS. If you are concerned about this stablecoin spec, StraightX has been issuing monthly attestation reports to prove that they have enough reserves to back all XSGD in circulation. If you look into any of these reports, you will find that all of the reserves are kept in cash, and there are deposits in the bank account that can be easily redrawn if someone wants to redeem SGD from XSGD. This makes it even more liquid compared to other stablecoins like BUSD or USDC, where only a small portion of their entire Higher reserves are in cash deposits. The remaining reserves are held in USD bills and this makes it slightly less liquid compared to actual cash. USDT's reserves are even more questionable and you can find out what are the concerns over this stablecoin in my video here. XSGD is growing in adoption and you can use it on decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap or OneInch. These two platforms allow you to swap XSGD into other cryptocurrencies that are supported on the Polygon network and I'll be going to my computer to show you how to get this stablecoin. Before you can swap XSGD on any decentralized exchange, you need to first have these two items, your Straits X account and a non-custodial wallet. There are actually quite a few non-custodial wallets that you can use to hold XSGD, but the one that I've chosen is MetaMask. So this would be how your Straits X account looks like after you have completed your KYC. To start minting XSGD, on the transferring tab, you can select this stablecoin. For the transfer method, you need to select bank transfer. If this is your first time using Straits X, you need to link a bank account. It is only possible for you to link an account which is in your own legal name. After you have linked it, you can now select the account that you wish to transfer from and click on transfer. In. So right now, the recipient bank account has actually changed as XFIRST now has their own bank account. These are the main details that you need to add XFIRST as your payee. If you are using the DBS iBanking platform, you can go to View Bank Codes and scroll all the way down and you should see XFIRST Private Limited. For the other two details, you can just copy them over. After you have added XFIRST as a payee, you can now transfer your funds over to this linked bank account. The most important thing is to enter these comments for recipient, which is actually your phone number. Now that you have transferred SGD into Straits X, you should now receive XSGD in your account. The next step is to link your non-custodial wallet with Straits X. You can do this by going to the transfer out tab and select XSGD. Under the transfer method, you need to select blockchain transfer and you will now be given three different networks that you can use. It is possible for you to send XSGD using the Zilliqa network as the withdrawal fees are cheaper than Ethereum. However, their ecosystem is not as well established as the one on Ethereum. The decentralized applications that you have on Zilliqa are actually quite different from Ethereum or Polygon. Ethereum actually has a huge amount of decentralized applications but the only problem is that that the gas fees on Ethereum are currently very high. This means that the fees that you need to pay for every transaction on the Ethereum network is extremely expensive. This is why I believe Polygon is the best network to use. The withdrawal fees on StraightX are extremely low at just one cent, and the gas fees that you pay on the Polygon network are also much cheaper compared to Ethereum. The main problem with Zilliqa is that it is not EVM compatible. So this is why the applications that you see on Zilliqa are actually very different from the ones you see on Ethereum or Polygon. So right now, I can select the Polygon network, and you need to link your blockchain address. These are actually the two addresses that I previously linked before and I'll be showing you how to do so here. You can click on link blockchain address and select link with your wallet. You can click on MetaMask and you can select which wallet that you would like to link with StraightX. In this case, I'll connect this wallet and you may experience this error that StraightX does not support this network. What you need to do is to switch your network to Polygon and you should now be able to link your MetaMask account to StraightX. All you need to do is to sign this transaction and your address should now be verified. After you have linked over the address, you can enter the amount of XSGD you wish to transfer over. You can see that the withdrawal fees are extremely cheap at just one cent. After that, you can enter your 2FA and your SSGD request should be submitted. To confirm that this cryptocurrency has been sent to your account, you can go to CoinMarketCap and search for XSGD and under the more section, you can select the Fox icon on the Polygon contract address. There's actually some bug over here as this does not reflect my actual XSGD balance. One workaround I found out is that you need to copy your contract address here and then go to your MetaMask wallet and select import tokens. Under this token contract address, you can paste it and it should detect it as XSGD. After you click add custom token, you should now be able to see your actual XSGD balance. StraightX also allows you to send USDC to a blockchain address. However, this is only supported on the Ethereum network, so the gas fees can be extremely high. If you're transferring USD to StraightX, the fees are 8 USD, and if you want to offer them in the future, it will cost 25 USD, and this is the same as Crypto.com. Ultimately, the cheapest way is to send XSGD via the Polygon network instead. The main drawback for this method is that StraightX has a 30k annual spending limit. This also includes transferring out XSGD 
SGD to a non-custodial wallet, which is what you're doing for this method. This annual spending limit is calculated on a 365 rolling day basis, and you can read more about it in this article that I'll link in the description below. Now that you have XSGD on the Polygon network, you can go to either Uniswap or OneInch to swap this stablecoin for any other cryptocurrency on the Polygon network. If you'd like to find out more about the next steps, you can check out my video here where I explain it more in detail.